it seemed to us timely to get together some of the people who are most involved before any decisions are made. Um, and hopefully we can get some insights on what we could do with that uh, this evening. What it shows is that you have in, in the um, Sheep's Green and Lammas Land uh, a thing which is impor as, as important in urban history as anything you've got in the Fitzwilliam Museum. This is the first cycle route I saw in Cambridge and I think it's terrible, I think it's extremely ugly. The blacktop has been spread on top of the ancient cobbles and what you should do is, is pick it off again. You know, send in archaeologists to scratch it all off. And I want to know how you're channeling them into the town. Routes, so non-motorised user routes. Um. So you, you, you can't classify routes for all the different kinds of traffic that's on it. It, it just becomes impossible. The different speeds that people will travel on those routes. I, I think greenways are a really good concept, good idea. What makes Cambridge unique? The next generation of poets and artists won't be inspired that way. Um, I've got three priorities, which means I've got uh, 40 seconds for each priority. Uh, my first priority, which is that the whole project should be a bottom-up project. A route across Grange to Meadows, you were incredibly rude about it, but it works very well. I mean, my post bag on the Greater Cambridge Partnership is basically full of 24-hour abuse. I had an MP today begging for more money for more greenaways from the, from the viewpoint of a district council person is that they should be very, very rural feel. How many people are going to be using them? What pressure is going to arise on key pinch points? I haven't seen yet any interface between the Greenway project and other key environmental policies. How do you mix walkers, people pushing prams, with speeding cyclists? You've got the land, you've got the brains, and you've got the money too. And so by jingo, if we do, if anywhere can make a really good cycle route network, it's Cambridge. Cambridge.